Brittany and today's video as you can probably tell from my background behind me <laughs> and probably from the title of the video as well <laughs> it's all about the Paris catacombs I've been meaning to do this video for a while now the catacombs is something that fascinates me a lot it's actually on my bucket list to visit the catacombs at some time in my life I've always wanted to go to Paris as well so to go to the catacombs would just be absolutely amazing and just very interesting and I just it's where I have to go it's a place that I need to explore sometime in my life so the catacombs are 60 feet below the streets in Paris the catacombs are 180 miles of tunnels caves crumbling walls and a lot of people believe there is a lot of evil in these tunnels these tunnels are also filled with the remains of six million souls. For years now, there have been numerous reports of apparitions, strange creatures, and even people going missing down there. In 1999, documentarian Francis Freeland made a film chronicling the, hour, the last hours of a man that was once in the catacombs and went missing. This man went missing in the catacombs. There's actually a video on YouTube you can look at. I'll probably link it in the description below for you guys to watch, but it's the actual video of this man. Nobody knows who this man is. Nobody knows if this man is even alive today. They never found him. Nobody knows, just nobody knows who this man is. But in the video, this man is just walking around the catacombs, you know, documenting his experience down there. And then all of a sudden, it's almost like he was scared. He started breathing heavier and louder and he kept, he was kind of fidgeting with the camera and he started running really fast, he would stop for a bit, the breathing would continue and then eventually something really scared him, he dropped his camera and he just ran away and you actually see him running away in the shot, you don't see his face, you just see like his legs. The camera then just kept on rolling and the man never came back for his camera. Nobody knows what happened to this man, nobody knows what this man even saw, what scared him. It's really creepy so like I said I will link the video in the description so you guys can see. Francis Freeland also said that he will never ever go back down to the catacombs. He absolutely refuses to go back down there. People have seen shadowy figures down there. There was a time when there was mysterious trails of footprints. One man even said a long time ago when he went down there, he experienced some smoke bomb went off and he experienced this hand reaching out towards him. And he reached out for the hand, but his hand actually went through the hand that he was reaching out to and then it just disappeared. Now it was closed down for a while, the public was not allowed to go down into the catacombs. But now you can actually go down there, like there's tours that go on and actually my friend Amanda, she told me like two weeks ago <laughs> that she went to the catacombs when she went to Paris two years ago. We went to Starbucks one day and <laughs> I was telling her, I was like, I'm gonna do like a video about the catacombs. She's like, you know, I went down to the catacombs. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> so she was telling me all about it. She said it's very, very creepy, but you can't like go all over the place because obviously there's dead ends. There's lots of dangerous things down there. Like you can trip, you can hurt yourself. A lot of things can happen, obviously. So you can only go to certain areas and there's tours down there. So she went on the tour and you just kind of just walk through and it's really eerie, she said you could see all the remains, all the people's bones down there. So it's, it's very eerie, but she said it was a really cool experience and it's something that she wanted to do. People feel an energy when they go down there, like something that they can't explain. It's something that they've never felt before. What do you guys think about the catacombs? Have you actually seen that movie? What's it called? Didn't it like just come out or something? Or am I totally like behind? Far below? or whatever it's called, I forget. I'm just like all about the Annabelle movie right now. I cannot wait for that to come out. I'll probably look it up when I'm done filming this because now it's starting to bother me. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the catacombs. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in Friday's video. Bye.